Hi, I'm Router Bob. Welcome to Shop Saver Minutes. Today we're going to look at one of our most popular options, the Material Thickness Calibration Touchpad. Let's start out and talk about tool length, all right? Whenever I take this router bit and I put it in a collet, where it fits in the collet really determines how much it sticks out. Somewhere in the machine control, the machine has to know that so that the depth is accurate when it makes a cut. All right, and so here's how basically that works. We put that in, we tighten it down, goes in the machine, and, and normally we'll actually have it go over to the tool height switch, it comes over, touches off, and that represents a number, and that number tells the control. How far is it from the tip of the tool to the Z0 position? All right, and so every tool has its own height, and so those are stored in a tool table. So that's why it picks up tool one, it looks at that number, and that's Z0. It picks up tool two, it looks at that number, and those are all on the same plane. So that's how all this works, but there's another variable, and that is where is that Z0? Okay, now there's a couple ways to do that. One traditional way is to do a touch off, where you jog the tool down to the top of the surface, or whatever's gonna be Z0, that could be the top of the material, that could be the top of the spool board, you take a thin piece of paper or a feeler gauge and you bring it down slowly until you just feel the tool touching it. That's called a manual touch off. And then on the machine control, you set a button that says Z0 and that sets it. So what that's doing is that's telling machine control, this surface represents Z0. This is actually the calibration touch pad. You start out by plugging this into a plug on the harness and you can actually set this wherever you want. So if I want Z0 to be up here, I set it here. If I want Z0 to be here, I set it here. If I want to be the top of the spool board. Then I basically jog the tool over and I push a button on the machine control and it comes down and trips that switch and it takes a reading. That replaces manually trying to use a feeler gauge. So that's why this is such a popular option. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Shop Saver Minute. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about our material touchpad, contact us at shopsaver.com. Thank you for watching.